All right, people. All right, people. There we are. Welcome to tonight's episode of Go Go Zombie Presents. We are going to be playing Conquest of Camelot again. Uh, if you remember from last night, we rescued Galahad. We fought some boars. We got by the, the little imp Windershin. Windershin. Um, we rescued the dude. We, we jousted the Black Knight. Um, then, then we fought that mad monk and found that the Grail was, in fact, not in Glastonbury Turret. So, like usual, next to me, I've got my first of my drinks. Tonight, we're drinking Trulies. This one is a mango lemonade. Uh, they're pretty good, real light. Let's see, I'm kind of off camera here, aren't I? Uh, real light, tasty. I enjoy them. They do the job. Good stuff. Uh, and as usual, since we're playing an old adventure game, we've got our notebook. We've got our pen. Uh, I have to open the PDF on my phone for the in-game document. The, if you remember, we there's the liver ex docturna that they keep talking about, which is in fact the oh god my god where did it save which is in fact the none of this is what i opened it must be documents okay well if we need it we'll look it up all right but let's let's get into gameplay which what you're here for right we're just, we're here to rescue today we're going after we've got our mule back Yes, yes, Miss Potatoes. We're back to we're back to uh, the Knights of the Round Table, but we need our Liber X Doctrina, which I'm sure means something something in Latin. If there's anybody here who speaks Latin, that'd be great. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Okay, well, I've got it close by if I need it. So here we are. We've made it to Uttor, or Uttor. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Uh, Utmore. Oh, yeah, I was totally, totally blowing it. All right, so you have nearly reached the edge of the lake called Otmore. Through a gap in the bushes, you can catch a glimpse of a palace in the middle of the lake. That must be what this is. Uh, can I get those sticks? Are those sticks I'm going to need? Nothing with significance. And once again, old adventure game. Where did the mule go when he went missing, Miss Potatoes? He went off and somehow got himself past the riddle stones that we couldn't, that we had trouble, some trouble getting past. Okay, so here we are. We've got like the edge of a lake. Give us the old look room. Normally be the shore of the lake. It is entirely frozen over. I'm about to go meet Elsa, apparently. Um, let's see if there's something over here. Because I'm not a huge bank of snow blocks away. So, obviously, I'm worried about... Let's look at this ice before we cross it. Uh, test ice, maybe? Uh. All right, we're just going to have to get brave and just go for it. I mean, that's that's really the only way to do it. I know, the mule is a little rude little bastard. Notice my mule did not follow me. As we've come to learn... That... Did you hear that cracking? Did you hear that cracking? Across thin ice you dared to tread. Tis no surprise that you are dead. That's very nice. I like uh, I like I like poems. Okay, so we can't go up here. That was really our fault because what did we do? We forgot one of the number one rules of these old adventure games: save often. Especially this next bit. This next bit looks scary. To get past all this ice. The mules, like the mules, not dumb enough to follow. 
so here we go. We're gonna give this. We're gonna give it the old save here, cause ice, cause ice, ice, baby. So there's there's a, must be a path through. How can I tell the strong ice? Ooh, and it does not. It does not give me a lot of um, a lot of time to screw up there, huh? Nope. This is this is going to be fun. We can already tell. That's right. I had to scratch my ear because my beard hair is in my ear. Um, can already tell this is going to be a nice nice way to get started. Let's see. Yep, if we start to go over that way, it starts to crack. Nope, it cracks there. <gasps> this is going to get tricky. I wonder if I can cheese it a little. <laughs> yes, thank you, potatoes. I did. I did. I went the wrong way on the ice. <clears throat> okay, so it gives me no choice but to start here. Nope, nope, nope. And I only can go, I, it can only start from the one direction. So it's not like I, I, I'm starting from a bad spot. I'm not, um, I do I do love the the poems. The poems are what really makes it. No, it's not that way. It's clearly not that way. How exact does it want me to be here? Like it seems like I'm just surrounded in in ice. Uh, uh, look, ice, um, stamp foot, no, jump. We have a mysterious request. Nope. It's it's kind of it's kind of rude. <laughs> All right. If anybody is seeing anything I'm not, that would be really helpful. Like Like there's nothing, there's no difference in the pattern. I can't just bully my way through. Oh. Man, this is this is stressful. This is stressful. I I just got to get past all this ice. How hard could it be? And walking straight, like it immediately starts to break. Whoa. You know, I'm. I feel like I should give it a save here. We're gonna do it a new save in case we feel like we have to go back. In case we do something stupid like that. Um, that was kind of pretty. Uh, yeah, cause in case we end up in a situation like this, where let's see if we go this way.
Okay, I'm. I I still don't see how I'm supposed to tell. Really? I guess if I'm walking back. Oh, I was doing so good. It's, I swear to God, it's arbitrary. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm starting to see it. I'm starting to see it. I got to go over a little bit, and then I cut up to here, but not up. No, damn it. Whew. Nope, uh, I jumped the gun. I got to go right first. I got to go right first and then up. So I get to here. No. No, once it starts cracking, you can't bully your way through. Okay. Okay, so over to the right, up to here. Oh. Oh. I don't have a crystal heart potatoes. Wait, do I? What? Okay, so we have to go back to the beginning. We have to go back to that's why that's why we created two. Well, thank you for, thank you for that, Potatoes. Big shout out to Potatoes, to go, Potatoes all grotten. She's a peach, she's a real peach. Nope, not that one. This one. The jetpack's the other game, Spartan. Wish I had that jet. If I had that jetpack from Space Quest, this would be over and done with. I would just mando across the ice and... And we would be on to whatever the next challenge is.
It's going to stop me right about there. And then it's going to stop me right about there. All right. You're fucking kidding me. There's more of this? So we'll name this one Too Cold, Too Cold after the after the uh, 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 ice, the uh, vanilla ice metal version of Ice Ice Baby. Okay, so there's more of this shit. Oh my god. All right, all right. Well, you're making me nervous. We could break beneath your feet. Whoa, whoa. Take it slow. One step at a time. Because we don't want that. We don't want. We don't want to see that cracked ice. Because then we die. Ah. Too cold, too cold. And we went up pretty far. No, I just wanted to see if I could go up. That was all me. That was all me just, just being dumb. So we get to here. We get over to here. That's probably the simplest ice room there is. I don't think it's going to get much better than that. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not clever enough for a third vanilla ice joke. Uh, I could. Tr I could maybe scrape one up. But uh, okay. We're not going to get very far. Now, if you remember, this is about where we made it before. Ah! Oh, man, I hit the wrong button. And I drooled a little on camera, just for you guys. Ooh. I was close. I was close. Okay, okay. So we know we get this far. We know we get this far. Then we get way the hell over here, like here. Then we get to go up. Whoa. Thanks, Skyhumper. That's thank you. That's a good one on thin ice. Who? And a whole nother room. My dude. Oh. You know what that means, chat? You know what that means, chat? We just, that whole room, we have to go do again because, <laughs> because I fucked up. Like the first few steps I got pretty down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're taking it brave.
Okay. Okay, so now let's not screw this up. Ice five. I don't know how many ices we're on now. I'm starting to get starting to get nervous. Okay, okay. Nope. Oh my goodness. Wow. And sometimes I just I just forget how to use the controls and end up in the ice. Ooh, we got three cracks in the ice. We probably don't have much leeway left for Yeah. So it's kind of like a bink, bink, bink. Okay. Oh, there's our first crack. Whoa. Okay, so I'm like, eh, 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 eh. it's an invisible maze, Spartan. Do you know how hard an invisible maze is? Basically, <laughs> all right, I'll try my best. I'll try my best not to smoke any crack out here with all this ice. Just one step at a time. Good old stoned King Arthur. All right, bam, we did it. We did it. Then this is not a better predicament to be in because now we're standing in front of a giant door in an ice room with who knows what behind it. It does, and like, as, as, as has been happening throughout this game, again, we're looking at something that looks like it's out of Flash Gordon. Having reached the Towering Palace of Ice, I must caution this cold medification lady of the lake may not be the benefactress you have known in the past. All right, so Merlin is warning us. Let's check out these doors. See, when you first get in one of these rooms, you don't want to, like, move around a whole lot unless... Depending, because you might inadvertently trigger something, like walking through. Look, there's Lady of the Lake. Talk woman. And since he says something that belongs to me, give it to me and I will tell you what even Merlin does not know. Where to search for the Holy Grail. But if you hold it, you neither mean to help nor my knowledge. I have something that belongs to her. She m must mean... Like, let's look at our inventory. She must mean the Crystal Heart. Um, which I forgot where I got. Oh, wait, I got it from the Black Knight. The Black Knight had the Crystal Heart. Let's ask about Lancelot. And so it's my prisoner because he's spurned my love and given his heart to your wife, Guinevere. You should thank me, Pendragon, for thus removing the rival for your love. Um, ask about Grail. Bring me the object of power that was stolen from me, and I will tell you where to search. Um, nope. Nope. Let's not screw with that. Ask about release 
Lancelot. Okay. Let's give him a quick check out, see what's going on here. All right, well, let's give her the heart. And maybe she'll not be a bitch. Blessed be, for this is graceful gift, so I will give you the gift of knowledge in return. To find the girl, you must take ship to Gaza, then seek Jerusalem. That's where Jerusalem. That's where all sorts of Jesus stuff happened. Once you leave here, I'll change to a safety class. Right, but Lancelot, I will keep here for he is from a... I will not release him unless you ask about it. Yes, okay. Well, uh, we need to ask him, ask about release. Ask about Lancelot. You have a leave and I'll keep Lancelot. Uh, uh, we need him free. Oh, now I'm getting put to the test. Of course there's a test. Aha. This is where I need my Liber S. Docturna. Which, there we go. Because in the Liber S. Docturna, will be the language of the flowers. Which, uh... Which, this is going to get tricky. Oh, I did just save it, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, come, Pad Dragon. Okay, look, Bush, this is a, this mirac is the work of the lady sorcery for it contains many different flowers upon one bush. All right, start test. You must speak the language, I'll post three riddles. You must give me the name of the flower that solves each riddle. Languages of flowers, okay, well, I missed all that. Let's see, maybe I can catch it in my own stream. Of, nope, missed it, okay. Oh, I think she's not happy because I was taking too long. Okay. Excuse me. The language of flowers is thought of most soldiers' flower. If you know this, you may not be able to choose correctly. If you fail even once, you join Lancelot and Tomb of Ice. But I will not force it. Recite the message of the rose, and I will send you safely away, though Lancelot will not go free. But if you are determined to free your comrade in arms, look closely at the bush and be warned. Once you begin, you're... Okay, look. Let's look at that bush. Very well. Let the test begin. Here's the first riddle. Remember, you must choose the flower that best answers it. It can be sweet on the tongue or vile as a curse. To hear it is evil. To believe it is worse. Language of the flowers. The PDF does not have the the uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a little more interesting because we don't have the information we need. We just have Okay. Let's see. Let's look at that. So it can be sweet on the tongue or vile as a curse. To hear it is evil. To believe it is worse. That's what? Lies? Falsehood? Ah. Okay. So I do have it here. Nice try. Known to the priest and nun who natural pleasures do so. That would be celibacy which is good old Mr. Cornflower over here. So I have here, I don't know if you can really see it, it's, uh, it's telling me the names of flowers associated with certain things. So wise are they who seek it, fools are they who believe without it, scorn those who claim to own it. 
Wise are those who claim to seek it. Why, why, wise are they who seek it. Fools are they who believe without it. I got hope, withered hopes, afterthought. Wow, hacks. It's not hacks. This is what they gave you back in the day. Punk ass kids. Uh, let's see that again. Wise are they who seek it. Fools are they who believe without it. Hope? Let's give hope a call. Let's give hope a try. Hope would be one of these. It'd be the almond blossom. You have failed. It's not hope. And now, and now I'm a meat popsicle. Just like that. So back to looking at this lady's bush. If we take too long, we know she gets pissed. Blah, blah, blah. Let's look at this bush. It's a little overdone, but okay. And now here's the fun part is I might not get the same riddles. When light is dim and courage fails, when heart against adversity rails, when it seems you will never see the dawn, this alone can drive. This one is probably hope. There you go. And now we're back to the nuns. Oh, yeah, this was celibacy, which was good old cornflower, which I believe was, oh, which is this guy here. Uh, for its sweet sake, you suffer in silence. What we both, what we both most desire, but will never possess. Lust, hopeless love, declaration of love. Hope or consolation, fantastic exuberance, consolation, pleasures of me pleasures of memory. No, early friendhood, early friendhood or early friendship. Yep, no, that's really what it says. Falsehood, sports, true love, true love? No. Hopeless love. Hopeless love, which is this yellow to which is this yellow tulip. Which is this yellow which is it none of these are yellow tulip. Oh, so not all the flowers I have here. So let's see. Buttercup. Memories of childhood. No. Cornflower. Celibacy. We already did cornflower. Chrysanthemum. That's a white chrysanthemum. Truth. Truth? No. This is a sunflower. That's haughtiness. I'm not sure what haughtiness even means. Uh, poppy red, consolation, daffodil, death. No, not, not death. Anemone, withered hopes, forget me not, true love. Top left, yellow lily, falsehood. Nope. Once again, iced. I should write some I should be writing some of these down. All right, ask about test, blah 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 blah. Look, Bush. I mean, I suppose I could ch save it here. In time of grief, it gives relief. It can lessen fears and ease the pain of tears. So once again, Buttercup was Memories of Childhood. Memories of Childhood. Going for it. I'm going for Buttercup. Nope. Okay. <laughs> you bitch. But I'm going to get to it first. Here we go. We're going to try something a little different. Ask about tests. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Look at this bush. I'm going to name him George. Oh. Ha ha ha. Now this is interesting. I did not expect this from a game this um this old. I cannot save 
during this sequence. So I was hoping I could save, and this way we repeat the same the same series of okay, drive on. We're gonna write down the last one, and that one's hope. So when we get it right, if when we, when it comes up again, we can which is the almond blossom, which what the hell's an almond blossom? Okay, known to priests and nuns. All right, Dushan was celibacy, which just does not sound like any fun, really. I mean, who wants to be celibate? Nuns, obviously. Um, cornflower, it alleviates all pain and sorrow, final end of all tomorrows, that which which we all must go, rich or poor, high or low. High or low, we're going to write that down. And I'm going to guess... I'm gonna go out on a on a on a on a thing here, and that's the daffodil. That's gonna be I don't know which one the daffodil is. What the hell does a daffodil look like? Um, this one's death. There you go. You're truly worthy of beginning. Test is ended. Lancelot shall go free. We did it. You worthy of the great legends that will live on in your name. Come with me. Look at that. Dude's free. I I don't even get to check on him. She's just like, peace, you're out. The same wit and courage you've shown here. And I'm back to my mule. His name's Jack, Jackass. It's a good mule. So now the only thing to be is to we've 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 rescued Lancelot. Okay, so we've rescued Lancelot. We've rescued who's the guy? We, who's the guy we rescued yesterday? Not Galahad. Ah, oh, too bad. I was hoping I could stop in and get. Uh, So now we know we have to go to Jerusalem, so we have to go to Gaza. Dublin, Reims, Rome, Thulsalung. Uh, would you care to book passage upon one of them? By your own law, every man, even a, man, even a king, must pay his way. So we'd be pleased to answer any question you may ask. So we know when you're going to Gaza, so let's just let's cut the crap, sailor man. A ship called Al Uza. That's a good name. I like that name. Is bound for the Far East by way of Malaga, Tunis, and Alexandria. And if God wills, come along. Okay. So let's ask about passage. Uh, okay. How much to go to Gaza? A ticket gold. Okay. Ask about passage to Gaza. Oh my God. Ask about price. Ah, okay. The fare to Gaza is three gold coins. Of course it is. Why would it be? Like, I don't know why the treasury sent me with no money. Like, as fortune would have it, this ship is the very one you need. Ignore the Greek name. It was sold to a Greek, sold by a Greek trader, and the new owners get to paint in a new name. May your journey be safe, God willing. Be bored now. Come on, mule. You, me, we're getting on this fat man's boat. All right, so while we're sailing, I need to go get a second drink. I will be right back. <laughs> ah, excuse me, cousin. All 
All right. The next day, the captain thanks you by giving good advice. You're not a king in these lands, so do not be quick to draw your sword for you to be surrounded by enemies. Okay. So hopefully, if anybody, if there was anything important in there, just let me know. Wine flows freely after such a long and arduous journey. Soon you fall into a sleep, a dream, a deep, a deep. Arthur? Invites you to accept his hospitality, my master. Ignore this boy. You were lucky you did not make off his meal. I am Jabur and Mohammed. I ever heard some sailors say you need a guide through the desert to Jerusalem. He's a poverty old scholar of no use anymore. But I, Jabir, know the desert, every rock, wadi, and water hole. Trust me in all things. All right, I, I don't know about you guys. This old, this, uh, kind of getting a good vibe from the boy. We're going to go with the boy. Because he's got to go get, the, he's got, where do you think he got the grail from? That shield he left behind was one of those markers. If we could go to Jerusalem and find the second shield, now we got to go travel north to the Crescent Moon, and bam, Holy Grail, don't take it past the seal. There you go, that's that whole plot of that movie in a, in a, in a nutshell. We're going to go with the boy. Go with boy. Like, his, his words are black and yellow. Like, that just says... No, and look, and here I'm I'm with Mahatma Gandhi. Al Surat, it is good that you've come. The captain sent word to me that you were here, though in truth I've been expecting you for some time. The first of six guardians who serve the goddess, she who gives the power of life and generates to send her cup, which you know is the grail. We who are the six guardians will test you in different ways. We will test your mind, spirit, and body. You must pass each one. I'm a scholar. I spent my life in study and meditation at your disposal to share what knowledge I may know. Uh, okay. Eat food? Just to drink. What else you got to say? All right, well, let's ask him about this goddess of his. The goddess gave birth to the universe, known as Virgin Mother and Crone, birth, growth, and death. <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. Marcus. Marcus got lost in his own museum. These six goddesses. Okay, so tell me about the six goddesses. I think, oh, wait, 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 wait. This might also be in my Liber X Docturna. Yeah, a star, series, and these are their symbols. I should probably write this down. A triangle with a thing. That's a theme. Uh, game. Okay. A little bullhorn with a pie under it is Vesta. A 
Fucking this bug dude is ISIS. That crazy ant thing on a pyramid is a start. It's not a good start, but it's a start. And then that is Saris. That's going to be important. Oh, yeah. And Venus. Because I'm your Venus. I'm your fire at your desire. Yeah, what was his name? Oh, um. Lamort? No, not Lamort. Okay, so then tell me more about this grail, old man. Okay, that's great. That's great. Okay, let's ask, what's my test? Do you have a test for me? Uh, ask about Gaza. Oh, yeah, ask about Jerusalem. Okay, ask about water. There is water between here and Jerusalem, but I cannot help you to find it. Uh, certainly, as Hazim leads you from Gaza, he will see you have a drink at a well, but that will not take you far in the desert. Can, can my mule carry water? Um, ask about man. Ask about truth. Okay, so I just eat the figs. <laughs> I, these games don't quite have that level of freedom, Lube. And I'm also trying... I have to be worthy p to possess the... I have to be worthy to possess the... The, the, the Grail, or these guys aren't going to give it to me. Um... So there's, I gotta think, what else, what else does he want me to ask him about? So, like, let's ask him about one of these certain gods. That's it, all he shows me is a symbol. Okay, oh, he said he was, he said he was Aphrodite, right? Alright, let's ask about Reaching Grail. Okay, so ask about help. Hey, what do you know about Merlin? How about that? <laughs> no, he's on the other guy. I mean. That's all it gives us on that, huh? Let's see. See, this is when the war on Christmas started. All right, that's enough of that. Let's not go down that path. Let's ask about... Secrets. Okay. So let's get out of here. Let's screw this old man. Oh. Let's... All right, let's drink all let's drink all his booze. I mean, he seems real bent on No, oh, let's ask him about the kid. Okay.
All right, I'm not sure what to do here. So we're just gonna leave. And here's this guy. See, here's this guy again, who I don't like. Like, I should have asked the other guy. So, you know, let's, let's give this guy a shot. Let's see what's the worst that could happen is we, we get out here this way, Habib, follow me. I'm sure nothing bad could happen. What's the worst that could happen? I don't know about you guys. I'm not getting... Like, but this is going to kill us. Watch. You can see from that thing. Arthur, something terrible is happening to you. See, I told you. I told you that guy was going to... Um... Do not hire a man. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. So it's not going to give me that level of... Nope, we're just not going to fall for a guy. Maybe he might just eat the donkey. Okay, so we're going to have to... So we know if we go down and over No, I can't just go killing people. See, look. And then there's the there's the the poison well. So this is going to turn into uh, where is, where's the, where am I going? Oh. Look, this is the why this is why this is why Arthur or this is why Merlin gave us this lodestone so that we could get through the desert because we need we know we know Jerusalem is north of Gaza. So we just need to keep going north and then there's a Grail San Diego? No, that's Braille, bro. There's some skateboard guys. I don't know about that lizard. Swift and harmless. This is a little easier than the... Uh... Than the... Uh, 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 bah, 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 bah. Carmen San Diego. Oh, right, right. That's somebody totally different. This is a lot easier than the uh, the ice puzzle, though. And 
and just hopefully like my man has not stopped to eat he's not stopped to eat he's not stopped to drink other than that guy he's still stoned as fuck from when he dabbed in the morning look at him look at look at how stoned arthur is and it gets in everything <clears throat> So stoned ass Arthur, he left his house. He ended up in, or he ended up on a boat with a bunch of strange dudes. <laughs> I'm on a mission from God, man. Oh my! Like, why do I hunt? Why do I type so well? Games like this. Grow up with games like this, you become a good typer. There's nothing you can do about it. I'm starting to get worried. I mean, Arthur seems all right. He's not He's not passed out. Donkey. Oh, I thought the donkey was about to do something. I was getting worried. Meanwhile, I'm in full armor, carrying a sword, a shield, just walking my way through this desert without a care in the world. You know, what's his name? Famir or whoever that... Whoever that guy was at the water, the poison water hole, he's probably tracking me right now. Good old F3. You know what Jack Burton does at a time like this? Just keeps playing the game. You know, the donkey does have no name. I mean, sure, I keep calling him Jockass, but, you know, that's because he's a jackass. It's interspecies love, bro. It's just a man and, and his, his donkey. I miss my mule. <laughs> what was that guy? Uh, Jennifer can be a, a boy's name. Oh, not Jennifer. The guy in Clerks, too. That was... um. I don't know, somebody or another. Like seriously, this is some compelling television. Like this is this is what I would call riveting content. Uh oh. Uh oh, you Jamie. Jamie can be a girl's name. Images shimmer and appear in the veil of is Guinevere and Lancelot embracing the images, but a vision of your own fears and jealousies, driven to the surface by your fever. Yep, that's that's what's going on. I don't know. Maybe I could have thrown a water skin on the donkey. At this point, what is the donkey carrying? I'm just bringing this donkey through the desert. Like all I can do is just trust in this lodestone and hope that it gets me through what I'm trying to get through. But it's not looking good. Quote. That's not water. That's not water. Let's just get this one toad. Yeah, it's still that way. I don't know about you guys. That's what they would call in the business a mirage. If you remember, if you remember all the damage mirages would do to. I already forgot where that was pointing. Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, who else has fallen victim to mis mis massages? Mirages. 
Like Arthur's not looking good. Catch that lizard and just eat that. Just drink that lizard. Oh, man. You, you did? Okay, that's, not, that's a story. That's a story right there. Austin. All right, I feel like I should know that one. I don't know that one. That's a reference to something I'm not getting. I, unlike Captain America, I do not understand that reference. Now my mule's going to die. We can really, I don't, I, I've, I've, King Arthur, he's, there's no way King Arthur's making it through this. We know it doesn't end well. No, he doesn't. It ends well. It, King, King, I don't even remember if King Arthur ever finds a Holy Grail. At some point he fucks his sister. And then, and then, and then his, his kid comes back and kills him. And then the guy, or is that Excalibur? I don't know. Is there? I'm not sure if there's much actual sister fucking in the real King Arthur legend. Um, but they felt the need to include it in Excalibur in the movie, which was a great film. And you think they'd get around to? You think they get around to remaking this kind of stuff? But. My my mule is my mule is drooping. This is the one. No. Here's another one of them mirages. Like, my man Arthur is just going to die out here in this desert because he just, because he can't put a water skin on a jackass. And this is why you don't decide your kings by handing out swords from lakes. Like, you think there would be a cactus? Catch lizard. First, you must find one. I gotta look at this again. Okay. Because I was using the lodestone, I couldn't catch the lizard. I wonder if I can catch one of them lizards and it's getting more desolate. We're running out of rocks. 
I'm starting to think it does it on purpose. We're going to touch this. Nope. That's too bad. Uh, I, I was close. I almost caught that lizard. My goodness. How much... How much desert could there possibly be? This game's got an eight hour lost in the desert sequence. <laughs> oh, that's a very nice topical joke because it's Christmas. <laughs> You've lost in the desert one of the Hebrews. Man, that's not even right, bro. I mean, that's a good one. That's a good one. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to give it <laughs> I'm going to give it a second and try to catch this lizard again. Okay, so I'm supposed to catch a lizard. We're ready for that little we're ready for him now. We're going to go to this next room. We're going to catch this lizard. And hopefully we're going to eat this lizard. Look, and there he is. There he is. He's been following me this whole time, just like I thought. He followed me. He took my damn... Took my damn coins. All right, so... We know not to follow this guy. And I really hope I do have to. I know. This guy's just, uh, you can't trust him. Probably going to eat it when he's done, too.
Now we got a bunch of cobras. I'm tired of all these snakes. There we go. We're using the word gully again. Wonder if I can. Hmm. Hmm. Dodge. Wait, wait. It's uh, dodge, thrust, parry, uh, spin. <clears throat> However, double, uh, double duck, double duck. Hmm. So we know we got some more stuff around here. Ah, uh, good old donkey. Um, most people don't realize this. This is the first game that Eddie Murphy voiced a donkey in. Um, just all his lines were cut. And he always wanted to get back to the role. He just never had the chance to until Mike Myers was like, Hey, be a donkey in Shrek. And Eddie Murphy was just like, Okay. So now we're just randomly exploring. We're not even mapping. Down here is where we just start ending up into... Into... All this... All this desert. This is probably going to be... Yep. You know, I could probably go up here. Get out of the way, donkey. You, <laughs> yeah, you're right. You caught me. That was all bullshit. <laughs> this is definitely <laughs> Mike Myers not offer. Uh, yeah. Look, bones. Yeah, boom. <laughs> so we've got a room full of cobras that we can't do anything about. Uh, tell man no. Ha. Huh. And I probably have nothing in my inventory. I got a lodestone and a purse. Hmm, 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 hmm. 
I can't just kill the man. I can't just threaten the man. Uh, I hate when it asks me the question like that. But my stuckness in this game, um, being as I have no clue what to do, how to do the Cobras, how to get through the desert, um, so I need to think about it a little bit, makes me think this is a good time to stop. Uh, it's been a good stream. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. We're going to save it here. Uh, desert. Poison Oasis. I know none of that is spelled right. And we're going to come back to it tomorrow. After we've had some time to think about it. I think maybe we might have missed... I'm hoping we didn't miss something back at What's-His-Name's house. The uh, uh, That old man. Oh, but you know what? Well, whatever. That's, he runs off there. But uh, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Um, it's been a great time having you. Hopefully we'll make some progress tomorrow. I mean, we did pretty good tonight. We, we rescued Lance a lot. We did that whole test with the flowers, which is a little trickier than I thought it was going to be. And now we've made it to the deserts outside of Gaza. Um, good time to stop. But thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Um, I'm going to try to get to this tomorrow night. Uh, we'll see how that goes, because tomorrow is my last day of work for the year. And I think some other people might be enjoying that same privilege tomorrow night. So uh, there's a there's a bottle of there's a bottle of hooched up eggnog in the fridge. So we'll see how this all goes. Thank you, everybody. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Love you all. If you're new, please subscribe, follow whatever level I'm at. Encourage me to do this more. Thank you. Good night.